Would you like to turn 100K into a million pounds? Of course you would. And you know what? It sounds like a big claim. You may even think this is clickbait, but it's not. You can, and we're about to show you how. In this video, we're going to show you how to take £100,000 and turn it into a million pounds with the power of property. I know that sounds like an outrageous claim. It sounds like clickbait, but it's not. We really are going to show you how to do this. The only caveat is it's not going to happen overnight. In fact, we're going to use assumptions that are so conservative, it'll take you 17 years. But while it certainly won't happen quickly, it will involve minimal effort and minimal risk. And we really are being conservative. We're going to suggest you take a basic strategy of buying properties and then just renting them out and only buy more when you can afford them and wait. That's it. We're also going to assume really modest growth. We're not going to add any value. So that means you're not going to reverb the properties to increase the value. We're not suggesting that you're going to buy at a discount and you're not going to put any new funds in after the first 100k. So if you do put more funds in at a later date, or you do buy at a discount, or you do add value, or you get some decent property growth over the years, then it could happen a lot faster than the 17 years. But let's play it really safe. Okay, let's look at the assumptions that we're making. Because whenever you're projecting what might happen in the future, you're basing it on a set of assumptions. So we're saying that you start with £100,000 of cash. Then for each property purchase you make, you put in 30% of the property's value. That covers a 25% deposit, plus 5% in taxes like stamp duty and other fees that you encounter. We then assume that once you bought that property, you make a net return on the rent of 4% of your investment after tax and all other costs. And we assume that that rental return grows by 3% a year. So that's roughly in line with inflation. So that's the rent. What about the value of your properties? Well, we're assuming that your properties grow in value by 5% per year on average. On average is important because of course, they're not gonna grow by 5% every single year. At the time of recording, properties have grown by 9% over the last year, but that doesn't mean it's gonna happen every year. We're projecting 5%, which is roughly equal to general inflation plus two or 3% extra because you've bought good property in strong areas. Then the final assumption, is that you save up all your rental income. You don't go and spend it on yourself. You save it up to buy more properties where you can. And you also remortgage where you can to release equity to buy more. Those two things together will allow you to buy more property in the future, even though you're not putting any more of your own money beyond the first 100K. So let's have a look at how this works. First of all, you start by buying two properties at 165,000 each. You put 50,000 into each property to cover your deposit because you're going to use a mortgage, cover your stamp duty and any other costs. Based on the assumptions we've discussed, it'll take to the end of year five until your properties have grown in enough value to make it worthwhile remortgaging them, which means you would have also built up in that time period, 20,000 pounds rental profit. At the start of year six, you'll remortgage and use the funds you release plus the rent you've saved to buy another two properties. Yes, you'll have enough to do that. Now let's fast forward to the end of year 10. So by this point, you'll have four properties that have grown in value, the original two plus the two extra that you bought, and you'll have saved up another £37,000 in rental income. At this point, by remortgaging those properties as far as you can and putting in the rental income that you've saved up, you can buy three more properties. That is the power of the snowball that you're building here. Even though you haven't put in any more of your own money at all, you've gone from two properties to seven. Your portfolio, so the properties that you own, are worth more than a million pounds. But what we care about is the amount of equity in your property. That's how much you have left after you would pay off all your mortgages. And we want that to be a million pounds. The good news is you'll cross that mark after 17 years. Your portfolio, based on all the assumptions we've discussed, would be worth around 2.1 million. And you'll have a million pounds worth of equity, plus another 100,000 pounds in rental profit. Not bad, hey? So you're 17 years into the future and that initial £100,000 investment has served you pretty well. So what do you do next? Well, you've got three options and they're all pretty good ones. The first is that you could sell everything, sell all your properties and before tax, you'll end up with a million pounds. Pretty good. Your second option is that you can sell some of your properties to clear your debt. So if you sold four of your properties, that would leave you with three that you own free and clear no debt whatsoever and those properties will keep on producing rental income for you 
and keep on growing in value over the long term. Or you can do neither of those things and you can just keep going. You can keep reinvesting your rental income to buy more properties, or you could just start living off that rental income instead of saving it up. So it's going to depend on your age and your future plans and lots of other factors, but all the options you've got are good ones. Now remember, this isn't a cast iron guarantee. It's just an example. The growth rates are guesses and the rules around tax might change. But also remember, we have said that you're not buying at a discount when sometimes you can. We're not projecting wild growth and we're not putting in any other money or adding any value to the properties. So we are playing it safe. One of the main things to take away from this analysis is that nothing interesting happens for quite a while. After three years, you've got a bit more equity than you had and you've saved up £12,000 in rental profit. And that's nice, but it's certainly not life-changing. It's after five years that you start to notice the difference. And it's only after 10 years that it really starts ramping up. So you can get great results fairly passively with property. It just takes time. Now, if you've made it this far, you are clearly a property nut and you love your property and property investing. So make sure you subscribe to this channel so you never miss another video. And because you are a property nut, you'll want to develop your knowledge further. So check out propertyhub.net. It's our website with a free forum where you can interact with other investors and we give you loads of free courses that you can take advantage of. So go and check that out as well.